Few people in Hollywood took this petite blonde seriously, but she is not as simple as she seems, as her classmates know firsthand. Reese Witherspoon is an American actress, producer, entrepreneur, mother of many children, and a stunning blonde-haired, blue-eyed woman. Which movie set got her five stitches, why she was arrested, and how she became a millionaire? We cover this and more in our video about one of the richest and most powerful women in Hollywood. Let's go! All right, let's go! Reese Witherspoon – How the Legally Blonde Star Became a Millionaire I'm Elle Woods, and this is Breezer Woods, and we're both Gemini vegetarians. Laura Jean Reese Witherspoon was born on March 22, 1976 in New Orleans to a family of medical professionals. The mother of future actress Mary Elizabeth, who went by Betty, had a PhD in pediatric nursing and taught at Vanderbilt University. The father, John Draper Witherspoon, was a longtime serviceman and military surgeon who became an ENT physician after his service. At the time of their daughter's birth, the parents were already raising a four-year-old son, John. Reese claims to be a descendant of Scotsman John Witherspoon, who was one of the people who signed the U.S. Declaration of Independence, but this fact has not been officially confirmed. Reese's parents separated in 1996, retaining an amicable relationship. The first four years of her life, the future movie star spent time in the German city of Wiesbaden, where her father served as a lieutenant in the U.S. Army Reserve. Then, the family returned to the United States and settled in Nashville. Growing up in an Episcopalian family, Witherspoon is proud of her Southern upbringing. From childhood, she was taught proper manners and respect for her elders. At age seven, she was cast in a TV commercial for a flower store, which encouraged her to pursue acting. At first, Reese attended lessons for children, but two years later, she entered adult acting classes. At age 11, she took first place in the 10 State Talent Fair. The girl also did well in school and loved to read. She even seriously considered becoming a writer. Ambitious from childhood, third grader Witherspoon ran a business right behind her desk. She would buy cheap barrettes, color them with markers, and sell them to high school girls at three times the price. When the school authorities found out about it, she was suspended. By the way, Reese attended middle school at Harding Academy and graduated from Harpeth Hall Private School, where she was a cheerleader. She later attended Stanford University, majoring in English literature, but opted for an acting career before completing her undergraduate studies. In 1991, Witherspoon participated in the open casting for the coming-of-age drama The Man in the Moon and was cast for the lead role. I love you, Court. Don't. Don't love me now. When things are so mixed up, I've got more than I can say grace over right now. Playing 14-year-old country girl Danny, Young Reese was nominated for a Young Artist Award in the category of Best Young Actress. In the same year, she made her TV debut in the movie Wildflower, and in 1992, she played a severely ill girl in the TV movie Desperate Choices to Save My Child. On set, Reese met actor Jeremy Sisto, and they had a brief fling. And before that, there were rumors about the Blue Eyed Beauty's relationship with Chris O'Donnell. The reason for this was their joint appearance at the release party for the movie Scent of a Woman. The following year, the budding actress appeared in the mini TV series Return to Lonesome Dove, an adventure film, A Far Off Place. It's got dunes, but there's also. But there's also a bunch of salt pans. Nani, cat food belongs on the what? ground. <laughs> <laughs> to perfect the Bushman language her character speaks in the movie, Witherspoon spent some time with a community of Matabili people in South Africa. The actress then played a minor role in the drama Jack the Bear, for which she won a Young Artist Award. In 1994, she starred in the independent black comedy film SFW. Soon, the rumors spread that Reese broke up with her colleague, Stephen Dorff, though she vehemently denied their relationship. In 1996, Reese co-starred with Mark Wahlberg in the thriller Fear. She played teenager Nicole Walker. 
For this role, she received a fee of $200,000. There was talk that Witherspoon and Wahlberg were dating while the movie was in production, but neither party has confirmed it. This was followed by another thriller, Freeway. The film received positive reviews from critics, and Reese's role in it brought her fame as a rising star. Now, I'm really not up to today, Larry. In fact, I'm mad as hell at you right now. Oh, come here, thank you. God damn it, Larry! In 1998, she appeared in the romantic comedy Overnight Delivery and the comedy drama Pleasantville, which earned her the Young Hollywood Award for Best Female Breakthrough Performance. That same year, the actress starred in the neo-noir thriller Twilight. In 1999, the girl appeared in the dramatic thriller Best Laid Plans and the comedy Election, for which she was nominated for a Golden Globe. Next. Together with Sarah Michelle Gellar and her future husband, Ryan Phillippe, she played one of the leading roles in the drama Cruel Intentions. Who do you think I am? Stop it, it's distracting. Cut it out. For this work, the actress received $250,000. That same year, Ryan and Reese, who was seven months pregnant, got married. The story goes that Philippi proposed to his sweetheart after he found out about her pregnancy, namely in December 98, when the couple was vacationing in South Carolina. He gave the bride not only a white gold and diamond ring, but also a pedigree puppy. As the couple decided, the wedding party was modest, and on September 9, the family welcomed a daughter, Ava Elizabeth. In 2000, the actress could be seen in the psychological horror American Psycho, the comedy Little Nicky, and in two episodes of the cult series Friends, where she played Rachel's sister. I just wanted to see if there were any leads on the old job front. Oh, no, but I just walked past three sales and I didn't go in. How strong am I? Oh. <laughs> that is great. Hey, you Reese was also a guest voice for two episodes of the animated series King of the Hill. At the same time, she founded the production company Type A Films, which promoted a number of projects involving her. The release of the 2001 romantic comedy Legally Blunt was a breakthrough in her acting career. Um, the entire Clinique skincare line, some aromatherapy candles, a loofah, oh, and the Bible. You're an angel. The movie became a mega hit with box office receipts of $141 million. It made Witherspoon one of the most popular women in Hollywood and made her $2.5 million richer. She was also a Golden Globe Award nominee for Best Actress and won three MTV Channel Awards. Under the terms of the contract, Reese kept the outfits in which she starred in the film. She also voiced a character in the animated film The Trumpet of the Swan, and a year later, she guest starred as the voice of one of the characters in The Simpsons episode titled The Bart Wants What It Wants. My school's having a dance. It's, it's pretty lame, but maybe you can make it fun if we went together. Yeah, I guess. Soon, the audience saw the young Hollywood star in the film Sweet Home Alabama, which grossed $180 million at the box office with a budget of $38 million. Witherspoon herself earned $12.5 million. She was also nominated for an MTV Channel Award. <laughs> I guess your mama raised you right. Woo, and what is that? Calvin Klein? It's very nice. Very good. <laughs> Uh, I better back off. I don't want to get you in trouble with the little lady. <laughs> she also appeared in the film adaptation of Oscar Wilde's play The Importance of Being Earnest and was nominated for Best Comedy Movie Actress at the Teen Choice Awards for her role as Cecily. The following year, the movie Legally Blonde 2 Red, White and Blonde was released. The sequel, in which Reese not only starred but also acted as an executive producer, grossed almost $125 million at the global box office and brought Reese a fee of $15 million, making her one of the highest-paid actresses in Hollywood. Immediately, 
Animal test subjects can only be surrendered on a voluntary basis, and they're not volunteering. Well, after I get through with them, they'll be begging. And I'm not just taking Bruiser's mom. I'm going to bust all those dogs out of that doggy dungeon. While working on the movie, she wore around 50 outfits. And meanwhile, at the request of the project's management, fashion designer Jimmy Choo made 63 pairs of shoes out of artificial materials in accordance with the rules of humane treatment of animals, which was the basis of the storyline. After filming, with his permission, Witherspoon took all the shoes and designer clothes created for the movie. In 2004, she presented the drama Vanity Fair. The film, based on the novel of the same name by William Thackeray, received mostly flattering reviews, and Reese increased her net worth by another $15 million. Have you heard of the Montmorencies? Who has not? Yeah. So, you're an impoverished aristocrat. Pity. During rehearsals, the director jokingly suggested that she should get pregnant because the actress was too thin for the role. Coincidence or not, by the start of filming, Witherspoon announced that she was expecting a baby. Her son, Deacon Reese Philippi, was born before Vanity Fair was released in October 2003. In 2005, the girl starred in the romantic comedy Just Like Heaven with a fee of $15 million. And then she co-starred with Joaquin Phoenix in the film about the life of singer and composer Johnny Cash, titled Walk the Line. The role of his wife, for which Reese dyed her hair dark, brought her not only another $15 million, but also a whole bunch of awards. The Screen Actors Guild Award, BAFTA, Golden Globe, and Oscar. Daddy told me how to do this. I'll show you. Keep your thumb down on the button. That laces the line. And then you're going to bring it back. Then you're going to throw it out there, and then when you're ready, you know, you've got a good spot for it, you let go of the button. For this movie, Witherspoon learned to sing and play the auto harp. It's worth noting that the actors performed their vocal parts on their own and did it so professionally that several companies approached the actress to record her music. The following year, Witherspoon's filmography was expanded by the fantasy rom-com Penelope, where she also acted as a producer. October 30, 2006, it was announced that the actress separated from her husband. At the time, Philippi was accused of cheating with his stop-loss co-star Abby Cornish, but the actor denied it. However, two years later, their divorce was officially finalized. In August 2007, Reese became the first global ambassador for the Avon Cosmetics brand. Specifically, she promoted In Bloom by Reese Witherspoon perfume water, taking part in the creation of the fragrance. She also became the face of the U by Ungaro Fragrance. Later, she often starred in commercials for various Avon products, lipstick, mascara, and other cosmetics. Another perfume line from the Legally Blonde actress, which consisted of three fragrances, was called Expressions by Reese Witherspoon. That same year, 2007, she delighted fans with her role in the political thriller Rendition, where she starred alongside Jake Gyllenhaal in Meryl Streep. Work in this movie brought the blue-eyed movie diva romantic relationship with Gyllenhaal, which ended in November 2009. Meanwhile, Forbes magazine estimated Witherspoon's annual earnings at $7 million, and The Hollywood Reporter named her the highest-paid actress of the year. Released in 2008, the romantic comedy Four Christmases increased her fortune by $14 million. Oh, it's a really disgusting... <laughs> Jackson, oh, did you pro oh, <laughs> projectile on it? Oh, God. Did Jackson oh, projectile on it? I'm about it. While filming the dinner scene, Reese injured her face from being hit by a ceramic plate and got five stitches. This delayed the shooting by three days. In 2009, the actress voiced a character in the animated film Monsters vs. Aliens, as well as the computer game of the same name. In 2010, the celebrity starred in the comedy How Do You Know with a fee of $15 million. For this role, she practiced softball for several months. That said, the scene of playing the sport lasts about 20 seconds. I start crying or shaking or acting enormously upset. I don't want you to ask me what's wrong. I want you to just ignore it. Is that okay with you? Actually, that's my preference. Okay, good. 
On December 1st, Reese received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. At the ceremony, she was accompanied by her children as well as her new boyfriend, Jim Toth, whom she started dating a few months after her breakup with Jake Gyllenhaal. Jim is a talent agent and they met at a mutual friend's party. On December 28, Reese announced their engagement and they married on March 26, 2011. The wedding celebration took place at the actress's ranch in Ojai, California. She wore a custom-made dress and after the couple said, I do, in front of 120 guests, 80 white doves were released. On September 7, while jogging in Santa Monica, Reese was hit by a car. Fortunately, the car driven by the 84-year-old woman was traveling slowly and Witherspoon suffered minor bruises. Meanwhile, she won a special MTV Generation Award and starred in the drama Water for Elephants, earning $2 million. Well, I think it's very important to form an offstage relationship. How do I look? Silly, right? Nah. You two are made for each other. In 2012, the actress appeared in the drama Mud and comedy action film This Means War, for the role in which she received $12 million. She also merged her company with Make Movies to form a new production company, Pacific Standard. On September 27th, there was a happy moment in the personal life of the actress. She gave birth to her son, Tennessee, becoming a mom for the third time. The following year, her husband was arrested for DUI. After standing up for her husband in a rather arrogant manner, Reese herself was also arrested. They were released from the police station that morning, and the Legally Blonde star apologized for her behavior. Soon, her filmography was expanded with the biographical crime drama Devil's Knot, and she performed a cover of the song Something Stupid in a duet with Michael Bublé. By saying something stupid like I love in 2014, Witherspoon produced and starred in the film adaptation of Cheryl Strayed's memoir, Wild. You made it! I made it! Okay, guys, this is Cheryl and Monster. Monster? My she calls this movie her most difficult project. The star had to climb mountains for hours with a huge backpack over her shoulders. Reese walked several dozen miles a day and, at the request of the director, she couldn't look at herself in the mirror or read the camping tent manual. Before filming began, she was very nervous and constantly meditated to calm down. But in the end, she got the help of a hypnotist. He was asked to come directly to the set to help her cope with her nervousness. For this work, Witherspoon was nominated for MTV Channel and Screen Actors Guild Awards, BAFTA, Golden Globe, and Oscar. In addition, the celebrity was a producer of the thriller Gone Girl and wanted to play the lead role in it, but in the end, it went to Rosamund Pike. Reese also played a leading role in the melodrama The Good Lie, appeared in the mystery film Inherent Vice, and the short film Nine Kisses. In May 2015, the actress launched her own brand of clothing, accessories, and home decor, Draper James, naming it after her grandmother Dorothy Draper and grandfather William James Witherspoon. At that time, she also starred in the comedy Hunt Pursuit, which she also produced, appeared in an episode of the sitcom The Muppets, and her voice was heard in an episode of The Voice of Nature Project. The following year, Reese voiced Rosita the Pig in the animated film Sing. In January, she began working on a TV series based on Leanne Moriarty's best-selling novel Big Little Lies. She produced it along with project partner Nicole Kidman and director Jean-Marc Vallée. Face. And in that case, you need to be strong and independent and educated and, and, and a strong woman. You said be strong twice. Kind of remind me of a space alien right now, you know that? In March 2017, Witherspoon starred in an Elizabeth Arden ad, becoming not only the face of the brand but also its storyteller in chief. In May, the movie star spoke at an event for the Stanford Graduate School of Business and afterward visited her old university dorm room. At that time, Reese was also included in the list of the most influential businesswomen, according to Fortune magazine. Besides being a true book lover, she founded her book club and started a separate Instagram page for it, which is followed by a huge army of fans from all over the world. About her hobby, the actress says she goes crazy in the bookstore because she wants to buy everything. By the way, her favorite book is Graham Greene's The End of the Affair. In November, Witherspoon was spotted at a cupcake machine in Beverly Hills. 
Some tabloids reported at the time that the Oscar winner was shooting the ad for her good friend Candace Nelson, who opened the bakery in 2005. Meanwhile, the celebrity appeared in the lead role of the comedy Home Again, starred in an episode of the sitcom The Mindy Project, voiced the short cartoon Gunter Babysit, but the main event was the release of the series Big Little Lies, which aired for two years. The project won an Emmy. Reese was nominated for that award, as well as a Golden Globe and twice for Screen Actors Guild Award. In addition, she was paid $1 million for each episode. Also, drawing on her roots, the actress wrote a cookbook called Whiskey in a Teacup, which was published in 2018. And shortly after, Reese appeared in the fantasy adventure movie A Wrinkle in Time. In addition, she worked as an executive producer for the reality show Get Organized with the Home Edit and the talk show Shine On with Reese, which she hosted. In March, in collaboration with cosmetics brand Elizabeth Arden, the actress released a lipstick, all proceeds from sales of which went to UN Women, an organization that advocates for women's rights around the world. Witherspoon was also one of the many women in the entertainment industry who supported the Time's Up movement by donating half a million dollars to the organization. In the meantime, it was reported that Reese earned $20 million for the year. In 2019, Witherspoon became an executive producer of the drama series The Morning Show, also starring in it alongside Jennifer Aniston and Steve Carell. Your words spoke to America. Oh, no, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Bradley, some piece of you that is really you came through in that video. People are noticing they want more. She reportedly gets $1.2 million per episode. By the way, for shooting in the third season, consisting of 10 episodes, the actress earned $20 million. Jumping ahead, the series was renewed for a fourth season on May 1, 2023. For that work, Reese was nominated for a Golden Globe, a Screen Actors Guild Award, and an Emmy. She is also a producer of the TV series Truth Be Told, which premiered in December 2019, and the biographical drama Lucy in the Sky. Experts estimate that the celebrity earned $35 million from August 2018 to August 2019. Reese also starred in and executive produced the drama miniseries Little Fires Everywhere, released in March 2020. It is a beautiful thing to know that your actions can affect another person's life. And that's what life is about, guys. Doing kind things for kind people who appreciate your kindness. In the summer of that year, the actress's eldest son, Deacon, who is now attending New York University, released his first single, Long Run, as a producer. The proud mom posted a video on Instagram of herself dancing to the track. In 2021, Reese sold her production business for $900 million, leaving herself with an 18% share. She wasn't the sole owner, so some of the money went to other parties. The star, who retained her board seat, believes it will benefit the company's core mission of telling new and inspiring stories about women on screen. It was also reported that the actress received $120 million after taxes from the sale of her pre-existing shares. That same year, she again voiced Rosita for the animated film Sing 2 and co-produced the Stand Up to Cancer charity project. And in the summer, the Hollywood diva modeled for her brand Draper James. In 2022, the celebrity expressed support for the people of Ukraine in the war with Russia and encouraged fans to donate money to organizations helping Ukrainian families. In August, Witherspoon appeared in an ad for car manufacturer Buick, where she promoted a futuristic concept model of an electric car called the Wildcat. She also voices the commercials as part of an ongoing partnership with the company. In 2023, Reese became executive producer of the pseudo-biographical miniseries Daisy Jones and the Six, the TV version of the American country singer Winona Judd's concert tour, and the children's country music competition My Kind of Country. At the same time, she starred in and produced the romantic comedy Your Place or Mine. And your love life now? Sort of like wind on an open prairie or footsteps in an empty attic. She is currently working on an animated series, Tiny Trailblazers, where she will voice one of the characters as well as acting as director and screenwriter for the first time. A yet untitled movie with her and Will Ferrell is in post-production. In it, the actress is announced as the producer and performer of the lead role. Meanwhile, the comedy Legally Blonde 3 is in pre-production. 
As for the star's personal life, Reese and Jim announced their divorce in March 2023. The celebrity said that they considered the decision well and don't hold a grudge against each other. They will share custody of their son, Tennessee, and share the child's expenses equally. The ex-spouses have agreed to split the art, furniture, and appliances they own. Plus, each will keep their own cars and bank accounts. After separating from her husband, Reese, hardworking as she was, loaded herself with even more work to feel less lonely. On the air of one of the shows, the celebrity admitted that there are days where she can't handle it and just cries. Soon, the rumors began to spread about the star's flings with football player Tom Brady and Kevin Costner, but the actor denied them. Meanwhile, Forbes magazine called Witherspoon the world's richest actress in their list, America's richest self-made women. In interviews, the mom of many children often talks about how important it is for her to become a better manager for her kids. She tries to introduce them to people of different occupations, so when her daughter talked about wanting to work as a waitress, Reese supported the idea. Ava Elizabeth took a job on her own at a pizzeria and served tables until her identity was revealed. The ambitious blonde actively supports gender equality in Hollywood. Reese admits that the stories of truly strong women inspire and motivate her to achieve more. She also works closely with the Children's Defense Fund and is honorary chair of the charitable Avon Foundation. Witherspoon is friends with Selma Blair, Chelsea Handler, and Renee Zellweger, and says she was greatly influenced by Meryl Streep. Her favorite movie is the rom-com Overboard. In addition, her list of favorite films include Splendor in the Grass, The Impossible, Bad Grandpa, and The Grand Budapest Hotel. She collects vintage linens and is crazy about antique embroidery. In an interview, the actress admitted that if she could choose a time in which she had to live, it would be the 1940s. Reese dislikes to exhaust herself physically. She does only yoga and horseback riding. For her, it's the best way to relieve stress. She also knows how to use firearms and always enjoys doing it. By the way, she likes to keep her food as simple as possible. Her favorites are hamburgers, french fries, fried chicken, pepperoni and spaghetti in cream sauce. As for drinks, she prefers home-brewed beer, though only on weekends or in the evening after heavy filming. The Legally Blonde star earns about $30 million a year, and no wonder her net worth is $400 million. Enterprising Reese invests parts of this sum in real estate and does it so often that it is simply impossible to keep track of all the properties. So let's take a virtual peek at just a few of them. In 2006, The Hollywood Beauty paid $4 million for a ranch-style estate in Ojai, California. There's a pool, barn, horse corral, and guest cottages. The main house sits on seven acres and is described as a ranch house with century-old furnishings, fireplaces, arches, turrets, original stonework, boardwork floors, and Spanish tile. It boasts four bedrooms and three bathrooms, as well as a large and bright kitchen with an island and freestanding table. The actress sold this property for $5 million in 2013. In 2014, Witherspoon and her then-husband, Jim Toth, bought a $12.7 million home in the upscale enclave in Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles. At the time of purchase, there was construction underway. Plus, the couple was in the process of renovating the 4,300-square-foot estate. Reese eventually brought the five-bedroom, five-bathroom home to perfection. The living room features a wide bay window with a brown leather sofa and a footstool where the star's pets like to sit. Inside, some of the decor consists of family photos and awards. A special place is given to the luxurious kitchen with gray-blue cabinets and a large center island with marble countertops. On the grounds, in addition to well-kept green lawns, there's a spacious patio with trampoline, orchard, and vegetable garden, pool, and spa. In 2020, the star sold the property for $17 million. In March of the same year, Reese paid $15,895,000 for a 10,300-square-foot mansion in Brentwood, Los Angeles. There's a living room with a fireplace, a spacious kitchen, and an office. The spacious grounds include a pool and bar. Shortly thereafter, she put this house on the market, receiving $21.5 million for it. In 2019, the actress bought a farmhouse in the prestigious neighborhood of Malibu, California, which cost her $6,250,000. The property includes a guest house, several outbuildings, a four-car garage, a stable, and almost three acres of land. In addition to horses, they breed chickens and piglets here. The backyard has sycamore trees, fruit trees, and colorful flowers. There is also a recreation area with a fire pit, swing, and hot tub tucked away in a grove of trees. At the back is a sports field and a retro RV that can accommodate four people. Reese sold that mansion for $6.7 million in 2020. In 2018, or according to other reports, 2020, she bought a house in Nashville for $3.7 million. 
The grounds include a large pool with a springboard and a gorgeous backyard with plenty of room to relax and have fun. In October 2022, she sold this property for $7.4 million. In June 2022, the Hollywood star gave $18 million for a four-acre plot in Nashville that includes a mansion, guest house, tennis court, and pool. She also bought another historic home in Nashville for $4.2 million and a modest country home in the same city for $672,000. In 2014, Reese purchased a three-bedroom, three-and-a-half-bathroom mansion in Nashville for $2 million. After renovating it, she put the property up for sale in 2019 for $2.5 million. In addition, the actress owns a mansion worth several million dollars in the Bahamas, located in a gated community. In addition to numerous properties, the Hollywood movie diva has a long list of cars. Here are some of them. GMC Yukon Hybrid, Mercedes-Benz E-Class, Land Rover Discovery, Porsche Cayenne, Range Rover Sports, Toyota Land Cruiser, Porsche Panamera, BMW B7, and Mercedes-Benz GL350. In 2021, some media reported that a Land Rover LR4 and a Toyota Highlander Hybrid were also part of the star's collection. In 2012, on Christmas Eve, Reese turned her Land Rover into a reindeer mobile, decorating its roof with a pair of toy antlers and a cute red nose on the grill at the front. The actress loves her job and can't imagine life without her beloved children. She enjoys reading inspirational stories. Her entrepreneurial spirit is remarkable, and she is sure to have many more exciting roles ahead of her. Yeah. What do you consider Reese Witherspoon's best work? Let us know in the comments.